My name is Srinivas Garamella. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering in the Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering at Georgia Tech. I tried to tell you a little bit about the exciting research on microscale heat pumps that we're doing. So this lab has been set up to test a wide variety of uh, heat transfer processes, all the way from microscale fundamental heat and mass transfer phenomena to very large megawatt scale thermal systems. Most homes have uh, air conditioning systems and they run using uh, electricity and they run using synthetic fluids. Uh, synthetic fluids work as refrigerants. Now what we are trying to do is to do the air conditioning completely using heat rather than electricity. These are called absorption heat pumps. In fact what you see here is the entire absorption heat pump. It is not one component of a heat pump but it is the entire heat pump. The novelty that we have here is in the past people have not been able to uh, reduce the size of these absorption heat pumps to the kinds of applications like residential applications where compactness is extremely important. This idea solves uh, several different problems. One is that the electricity is high grade energy and it is becoming scarce uh, and expensive. If you use low grade energy like heat, you can uh, run this system using solar energy, waste heat, natural gas or any renewable fuel. Secondly, when you use electricity on peak summer days, the utilities have extremely high demands and these electricity driven units run it past their peak capacity and you'd have to come up with new power plants for that. If you were to instead run the air conditioning system using heat, that additional demand on power plants goes away. Each of these sets of passages work as individual components that in real systems or in conventional systems would be completely separate units. We have been able to integrate these things into just two plates. So in fact, if you were to put these two plates together, they would form an entire heat pump. It would not deliver a whole lot of cooling, but this is the base unit and it is modular and so if you want more capacity you stack many plates together. So this unit you see has 40 plates side by side that means there are 20 units that are assembled together and with a combination of pressure and heat we're able to bond them and that forms the entire system. When you have the, everything consolidated into one unit the heat losses that actually reduce efficiencies and so on are minimized to the minimum possible values and assembly and labor in putting a, a whole bunch of components together uh, is minimized substantially. And so you can ship this as is and your shipping and installation costs go away. So let's say you, you use a fuel cell or a micro turbine and gas as the input. You can generate the power that the house needs and then its waste heat that you would otherwise throw away is used to run this heat pump. So in this one system you can supply all utilities that are required for the house, heating, cooling and water heat. So anywhere where there are large quantities of uh, uh, heat being produced, we can use that instead of throwing it away, instead of you thinking of that as, as, a, uh, as an irritant to get rid of, we can use that to produce useful cooling.